This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Culture wars fuel the Republican Party. They are carb loading before a big race for the Republican Party. There is no substance, no policy objectives, no governance, no rationality, no decency within the Republican Party. And it is slowly, maybe rapidly, infecting everyday Republicans, your neighbors, your family, your friends. And it is tragic because while they spin their wheels, whipping their their followers into a frenzy over things that either aren't happening, like critical race theory being taught in elementary schools, or junior high, or high school, or undergraduate in college, um, or, or many other issues. Remember the, the, the kneeling for the national anthem, the silent protest? No, that's not the right way to protest. There, you got to do it a different way. But then no way of protesting where it relates to, to racial justice is good enough for Republicans. You get my point. It's culture war, culture war, culture war. Well, the, the, the new culture war is an anti-trans panic, bigotry, which should not be surprising. I'm trying to get my desk organized here. Apologize. Um, should not be surprising from the party of bigots. For instance, the, during the, 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 the confirmation hearings of Ketanji Brown Jackson, they asked her, well, define what a woman is. Yet, that question, if it was so important to be answered, why was it not asked of Neil Gorsuch? Why was, was uh, Brett Kavanaugh not asked, define what a woman is, Judge Kavanaugh? Amy Coney Barrett didn't have to answer that question. The question she was asked was named the five uh, tenets of the First Amendment and the, uh, the, the protections, the, the freedoms that it protects. And she uh, couldn't list them all. But because today's culture war du jour is an anti-trans strain of bigotry and hatred and fear-mongering, that's what they attach on. And something is happening right now in the conservative media sphere that is very curious. And that is, there are popping up across the spectrum competitors to Disney. PragerU, for instance, I'm going to play a clip here of a, a commercial that's played on Fox News advertising their new PragerU for kids. And the Daily Wire just announced it's going to invest $100 million over the next three years in producing a a, a, a a competitive product to Disney, because Disney is too woke. And then I'm going to read uh, three paragraphs from a Washington Post article. First, though, let's get to... Well, no, let's not get to the clip yet. The reason I think it's curious is because this isn't... I believe this is engineered. I don't have any evidence of it, but it just seems too coincidental that they're now all attacking Disney for being woke while they're also going to financially benefit from their competition with Disney. Here now is that clip from Prager U. Uh, we'll talk about the clip on the other side. It's dinner time with family, and your heart is filled with bliss. But as you eat the roasted goose, your little sport insists. Hey, Dad, did you know America is racist? You're shocked with grief when suddenly George Washington bursts through. He snatched the screen and changed the thing to an app called Prager U. There's content for your child's mind to fight the leftist lies. And if you give your child a chance to watch and grow, they might burst forth like Washington, a true American hero. Visit PragerUKids.com for pro-American kids shows, cartoons, and... Yeah. So, let's just, let's tackle this. This, this is, one, uh, an answer for conservatives to Disney. But it is also an answer to the hysteria over critical race theory, that America is racist. And then they choose the character to show up, George Washington, an enslaver of human beings to be the antidote to the idea that America is racism. Our founding father, George Washington, an enslaver of human beings, all black, by the way, 
is the man who's going to change the minds of the children. I don't think they're making the argument they think they are. To deny that America has a racist past and history is absurd. Absurd. From slavery to convict leasing to redlining to Jim Crow to to the continued disproportionate killing of unarmed black Americans by jackbooted thugs that we call police still happening. But George Washington will save the day. Here's a little article from the Washington Post talking about the Daily Wire's $100 million, ostensibly, that's what they're claiming, $100 million investment in kids' programming. The article is entitled, Daily Wire to make conservative kids' show to rival woke Disney. Ben Shapiro grew up loving Disney movies, he told his podcast listeners last week. The conservative fri- firebrand passed that love on to his kids, by taking them to Disneyland as soon as they were old enough. Six months of age in the Shapiro household. You know how much six-month-old babies just, they get a kick out of Disney. (laughs) But then Disney got political, he claimed. Gay characters appeared in their movies, and those characters sometimes kissed each other. Sapiro said uh, the company he once loved was being held hostage by the woke. Now, again, woke is not a term that was bandied about in political circles until just recently. It is a culture war item. And furthermore, how is it political that people who exist in real life appear in Disney cartoons? He's not upset that straight people are in Disney cartoons. They exist. Is he also um, bothered that people of different races are in Disney cartoons? They exist. That that someone who's handicapped, they, they exist. Culture war. That's all this is. Shapiro previewed the potential for counter-programming when he told his listeners last week that his conservative media company, The Daily Wire would begin producing children's entertainment. But he offered no specifics, of course. He offered no specifics about how or when that might happen. Those details came Wednesday at an employee town hall. Daily Wire co-CEO, because you know, the best organizations have two leaders at the top. That's why we always have two presidents. (laughs) Co-CEO Jeremy Boring said the company will spend at least $100 million over the next three years to offer children's entertainment. DW Kids? Oh, wacky. DW Kids, everybody. DW Kids will provide live action and animated shows to subscribers through the company's streaming service starting next year. I'm sure that's going to be a barrel full of laughs. Ben Shapiro's kids programming. Woohoo! I cannot wait. Plunk your kids down in front of that. What a nightmare. So here's what I contend. That they are fabricating this for one political gain, this Disney woke thing, but also they're fabricating and try to to denigrate the competition because they're going to financially reap the rewards from that culture war. It seems pretty clear now that we have a little bit of more information and a hindsight view of what has happened and what is going to happen. What do you think? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, daily at dollamore.com. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I got a lot of emails and voicemails yesterday after I did the video about Lauren Boebert. Got a little choked up at the end. Uh, I appreciate all your kind words. You, you, uh, I have contended for a long time, and I think every YouTuber says something like this, um, but I, I believe I have the best audience, the most loyal and caring audience on this platform. 
Follow me on social media. I'd love to connect with you there. I'm at Dollamore just about everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Dollamore. That's, that's the address. And if, if I bring you some value, please consider supporting and helping produce my work right here on YouTube. You can click the join button below this video, become a channel member for a buck 99 a month, or you can head on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those, that's not just for the podcast. It is, uh, I wasn't a YouTuber always. We started eight years ago with the podcast and that's why that, that Patreon has that address, but it, that absolutely supports what I do here. And I would appreciate you and your consideration of helping support what I do. I love you guys. I cannot say not, cannot say that enough. My mouth is not working and I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Continue to be genuine and take care of one another.